Escalating tension in a country thousands of miles away has some families here on edge. That is tonight's top story. This week, India's government scrapped a 70-year-old constitutional provision to take more control over the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Tens of thousands of troops are now roaming the streets and families have been placed under house arrest. Local force Tahir Rahman joins us in the studio with the fears one couple here is feeling. Tahira? Jim, Kashmir is already one of the world's most volatile regions. You can see on the map here that it's bordered by both India and Pakistan, who both have had some control over the area until now. India's power grab has families here calling for action. Connected phones, no internet, and thousands of troops walking the streets. That's what millions in Jammu and Kashmir are facing. I try to send messages to my cousins. I'm not receiving any messages back, so I don't know how they are doing. And we're really deeply concerned about it. Rifat Beg and Mudassir Ashraf have lived in Bettendorf for nearly a decade. On Sunday, they lost communication with their family. Naila Khan is an expert on the region. Basically, we have lost statehood our special status, which was guaranteed to us by the Constitution of India 70 years ago, has been unilaterally revoked. This week, India's Prime Minister decided to turn Kashmir from an autonomous state into a controlled territory. It's also personal for Khan, who hasn't been able to speak to her parents in days. Lack of access to hospitals, educational institutions are completely shut down. Governmental and bureaucratic institutions are completely shut down. Life is paralyzed. Khan says people here in the United States can help by pressuring lawmakers. Urge them to restore rule of law, right to life, right to dignity in Jammu and Kashmir. Act upon it and stand against it because I think if you are silent, you are complicit. Now, there's another concern besides state autonomy. Experts say India's move also opens the door to change the demographic of Kashmir, which was the only Muslim-majority state in the Hindu nation. There have been international condemnations, but India has only doubled down on its decision. In the studio, Tahir Rahman, Local 4 News.